Hello friends, today we will learn about electronic configuration of heteronuclear diatomic molecules like CO and HF. First thing is that the principle of electron filling in di heteronuclear diatomic molecule is same as in homonuclear diatomic molecule. Next, molecular orbital diagrams are not symmetrical in nature because there is difference in electronegativity of the atoms involved in molecules formation. Third thing you have to remember there is electrons remain close to more electronegative, more electronegative atom in bonding molecular orbital while in anti-bonding molecular orbital they remain close to less electronegative atom. So first example is carbon monoxide. In carbon monoxide, carbon has 1s2, 2s2, 2p2 electronic configuration while oxygen has 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So total number of electrons in valence shell of CO is 10. Okay. Next is because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, therefore Atomic orbital of oxygen will be lower in energy means the atom which has which has more electronegativity or which is more electronegative its atomic orbitals will be lower in energy. So in case of carbon monoxide oxygen atomic orbital of oxygen will be lower in energy. As we discussed earlier that in heteronuclear diatomic molecules the molecular orbitals are not symmetrical. So this unsymmetrical nature leads to difference in energies of bonding and molecular bonding orbital. So the molecular so the bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals receive different contributions from carbon and oxygen. In case of bonding molecular orbital, it receives more contribution from oxygen, while anti-bonding molecular orbitals receive more contribution from carbon. Means bonding molecular orbital receive more contribution from more electronegative atom, which is lower in energy, and the anti-bonding orbitals, molecular orbitals receive more contribution from the orbit atomic orbitals which are higher in energy or you may say which has high le, less electro which is less electro negative in addition you can also say that properties of bonding molecular orbitals are similar to the atomic orbitals of oxygen because it is close to atomic orbitals of oxygen and the properties of anti bonding molecular orbitals are similar to the properties of atomic orbitals of carbon because it is more close to atomic orbitals of carbon. So first thing is that the 2s and 2pz orbitals of atomic orbitals of carbon can mix to generate 2spz orbitals. 2 atomic orbitals, 2s and 2pz atomic orbitals of carbon can mix to generate 2 spz, 2 spz orbitals. Similarly, 2s and 2pz or atomic orbitals of oxygen mix to generate 2 spz orbitals. But the extent of mixing of 2s and 2pz is more for carbon than oxygen. As we discussed in first part of MOT, first part of molecular orbital theory, that the mixing can be possible when the atomic orbitals have same symmetry and the difference in energy is very low. So in case symmetry is same for 2s and 2pz orbitals, but the difference in energy is less for carbon as compared to oxygen therefore mixing is higher in case of carbon as compared to oxygen and there are two spz orbitals formed one is lower in energy and another is higher in energy the atomic orbital the 2s spz atomic orbitals which orbital which is lower in energy is close to 2s 
atomic orbital therefore it has more it, it its properties are similar to more similar to 2s orbital 2s atomic orbital pz orbital which is lower in energy and close to pure 2s atomic orbital has main contribution from 2s while the spz atomic orbital which is higher in energy or more close to 2pz atomic orbital has more contribution from 2pz atomic orbital of carbon and it is also the uh, and it is also true for oxygen next is the lower energy 2spz orbital of carbon is close to higher energy 2spz orbital of oxygen therefore they can combine and they will combine to form two molecular orbital one is bonding molecular orbital denoted by sigma 2 and another is anti bonding molecular orbital sigma star 4 the lower energy 2spz atomic orbital of oxygen and higher energy 2spz orbital of carbon are far away from each other therefore they cannot combine with each other and they remain unchanged and they are called as non-bonding molecular orbital and they will not participate in bond formation the 2s the 2px and 2py orbitals of carbon can combine with 2px 2py orbitals of oxygen and they will form these four atomic orbital will combine to form four molecular orbital two are bonding and two are anti bonding bonding molecular orbitals are pi1 and pi2 and anti bonding molecular orbitals are pi3 and pi4 so next is electron filling the electron will fill first in sigma n b non bonding orbital sigma 1 then sigma 2 the bonding orbital forms by the combination of lower energy 2spz atomic orbital of carbon and higher energy 2spz orbital of oxygen next pi 1 and pi 2 then sigma 3 n b which is also a non bonding mo molecular orbital in this way there are total 10 electrons and if you want to calculate bond order we have to consider only the bonding non bonding and anti bonding atomic orbitals and according to this the bonding molecular orbitals six electrons and there is no electron in anti bonding molecular orbital therefore the bond order will be 3 we will not consider the electrons in non bonding molecular orbital for bond order calculation because they will not participate in bond formation next example is hydrogen fluoride or hf hydrogen atom has 1s1 con configuration and fluorine has 1s2 2s2 and 2p5 so that there are total 8 electrons in valence shell of hf molecule in HF molecule, 2s and 2pz atomic orbitals of fluorine uh, have same symmetry and they can mix with each other but the extent of mixing is very low because of higher energy gap. Lower energy SPZ or at, uh, atomic orbital and uh, another is higher energy SPZ orbital, 2s SPZ orbital. So, the energy gap between 1s uh, atomic orbital of hydrogen and 2 uh, higher energy 2spz atomic orbital of fluorine is very low as compared to lower energy 2s atomic orbital so the higher energy 2spz atomic orbital can combine with 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen and they will combine to form sigma 1 sigma 1 bonding molecular orbital and another is sigma 3 star anti bonding molecular orbital the lower energy 2 spz atomic orbital cannot combine with 1s 
uh, atomic orbital of uh, hydrogen because of higher energy gap so it will remain non bonding in nature the 2s and two, the 2px and 2py uh, atomic orbital of fluorine remain unchanged and they are also non bonding in nature and they will form pi 1 non bonding molecular orbital and pi 2 non bonding molecular orbital so in this way the eight electrons can fill up in one two in sigma 1 bonding molecular orbital two sigma 2 and b sigma 2 non bonding molecular orbital and four electrons will go in pi 1 and pi 2 non bonding molecular orbitals and if we want to calculate bond order it will be 1 by 2 into 2 because there is no electron in anti bonding molecular orbital and we will not consider electrons in non bonding molecular orbital for bond order calculation then we will take the example of no no plus no 2 plus and no minus in case of no molecules and its radicals there is no mixing of sp s and p atomic orbitals and it has been revealed by spectroscopy that there is very high energy gap and the mixing is not possible therefore they will not mix they will not combine to form spz orbitals so we can calculate bond order by the simple rule as we considered in homo nuclear diatomic molecules and in case of no this is the electronic configuration of no and the number of bonding electrons electrons in bonding molecular orbitals are 8 and 3 in anti bonding molecular orbital k k means two electrons in sigma 1s and two electrons in sigma 1s star so the bond order will be 2.5 for no plus one electron is removed from the anti bonding anti bonding pi 2px uh, molecular orbital so the bond order will be 1 by 2 8 minus 2 that is 3 in no2 2 plus one electron is removed from anti bonding pi 2px molecular orbital and other electron is removed from the bonding molecular orbital pi 2py so the bond order will be 1 by 2 7 electrons in bonding molecular orbital and two electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital so the bond order will be 2.5 in no minus the one electron will be added in the anti bonding pi 2px molecular orbital so the bond order will be 1 by 2 8 minus 4 Four electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals, and the bond order will be two. Therefore, the NO plus will have highest highest bond order, and NO minus will have smallest bond order. So, thank you so much for watching my video, and please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it, and press bell icon for future notifications.